Hi, my name is Kendra Otto and I'm an international consultant for the Andis Company. Today we're going to talk about cat grooming at home and what tools you should use to make it a successful experience for your cat. For starters, you want to trim the nails to make sure that you don't get scratched by really sharp cat nails in case they don't like grooming. For brushing, I like the rubber tip coated pin brush to make sure it glides through the coat really well and gets out some of the undercoat. After brushing, you want to follow up with a coarse tooth comb and a fine tooth comb, making sure that they're steel to reduce static. Then I like to follow up with the flea comb, which is not only meant for fleas, but you can use it on some of the shorter haired areas like the face and down the legs to reduce the amount of undercoat that they have flowing around the house. If you have a matted cat, we have several options of blades. For matted cats, I would use a number 10 blade, and if they're an extreme case, I would use a number 30 blade. We also have, for a longer haircut, a 7FC, and these blades are specific cat blades with the EGT technology to make cat grooming a lot easier. If you're looking for a longer attachment comb trim, I recommend the steel combs. So let me show you how to use these tools on our ragdoll friend, Mackenzie. First, we're gonna start off by clipping the nails. I'm gonna press between the toes to make sure that we expose that toenail. Now that we've clipped the nails, we're gonna move on to clipping the hair on the bottoms of the feet. I'm using my Ultra Edge clipper with my 30 cat blade on it. And I'm just going to skim across the top of the pads. I'm not actually gonna dig between the webbing because if you do that, you're gonna end up cutting the webbing. The reason why I do this is because it helps reduce the amount of cat litter that's tracked out of the cat box. After that, I'm gonna come in and just tidy up the bottom of the foot with my scissors. Just gonna round out underneath and use my brush. Kind of fluff up some of that coat on top of the foot and trim off some of these long hairs. I'm gonna put the foot down on the table and round out the foot. See how we have that nice finished cat foot now? When you decide to brush your cat, make sure that you brush all the way down to the skin. So you wanna push the coat back and line brush. This will help get any of the extra undercoat and mats out of your kitty. I'm gonna make sure that you lift up, get the underside of the kitty, the armpit, the belly area. Some cats will let you roll them over. Some aren't so tolerant. So after you've brushed and got some of the undercoat out of your cat, you wanna make sure that you go over with coarse teeth and then fine teeth. Always using the steel teeth on your comb because if you use plastic, you're gonna get a very big staticky mess and your cat's probably gonna get a little angry with you because the comb will get caught. You can see the hair that it's pulling out and now this is all dead coat. It's not live coat that's gonna cause any harm to the animal. To follow up, you want to use the flea comb on the head and down the leg areas, some of the shorter area, getting some of the undercoat out. Make sure you get behind the ears.
And again, just the finest undercoat comes out. So now we're gonna clipper the body of our cat. What I've done is I've changed the blade length to a number 10 and I've put on a steel magnetic attachment comb on a 10 blade setting. The reason why I'm using an attachment comb on Mackenzie is because I want a longer comb cut and she's also 16 years old, so I don't want to expose how thin she is underneath. So I'm going to turn on my clipper on a low speed setting. And the reason why I'm doing the low speed setting is because I want to make sure that she's not afraid of the clipper. And the reason why I'm reversing the attachment comb is because I'm trying to get a shorter yet presentable clipper on the kitty. A lot of times when you groom a cat and you leave their coat, their coat longer with an attachment comb, it kind of looks like a child took scissors to the coat and gets really choppy. I'm gonna go with the grain too, just to try to get some of that length off. Now, if you were to clipper this kitty and you actually wanted to use a 10 blade or a seven blade, a much shorter blade, you wanna make sure that you're careful in their armpit area by the rear end and the back of the legs because the skin is very thin in those areas, especially the loin and the belly area and you can really get the skin caught between the teeth of the blade and nick your cat. So as you see, the difference in our clipper work how nice and long and um, full the coat still looks versus what we've not clipped. You can see the difference between the shorter and the longer, something a little bit easier maintainable for the pet owner at home. I hope you've learned a lot with all of the tools that we choose to use on grooming cats.